Hey there, beauties and gentle beauties. What's coming up next? It's Weeknight Update with Ellie Mueller. Then the morning show starting Rebel Wilson and extremely early with Edward Scott. That's all still to come on Nick at Night. Ciao. Well, the court, if you do know Joe and no Hannah Burner, can't come here. Oh, what are we going to do? It's week up there, really. And now, a man who knows that Hannah Burner is an unknown comedian who doesn't understand the fact that he will never, I repeat, ever be on a major TV show. Uh, Mr. Ellie Cunning Mueller! Ha! Welcome to Week No Update! I am Ellie Cunning Mueller, what's up, what's up? Come out, everybody, come out! Hey, boss, what's going on? Nothing much, man. Did you ever find out uh, who uh, egged your uh, kitchen? As a matter of fact, I have finally figured it out! Oh! Great! <laughs> yeah! Uh, it's your uh, ex, uh, Susan Gates. Oh boy. Oh boy. Tom, Tom, Tom. Do you really think that my ex is still holding a grudge against everybody on Nick at Night? I'm afraid so. Oh boy. Well, don't worry. Don't worry. Everything is going to be all right. I hope so. Don't worry. It's going to be all right. Now, I have found this week's Counter of the Week winner. You'll find out who that person is tomorrow. The theme song is composed by Dominic Mattis Piano. The color may include the camera lady and e 2004. Are responsible for most of the things that you're going to see and hear on this program tonight. And they are most of our jobs for our winners. Along with Maggie Elise and Blingy. All right, now, buckle up, folks. This is about to get wild. What's up, what's up, what's up? Here we go. What is up, uh, 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 what uh, uh, is up, uh, uh, what uh, uh, is up, uh, uh, what is up, what is up, what uh, 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 is up, what uh, 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 is up, what uh, 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 is up, what is up, what is up, what's up with Hannah Burner, a woman who wants to be funny. Newsflash, she will never get laughs. She will do her first Netflix special next month in Philadelphia. Wow. Will anyone attend? A family of Philly Key Stakes and 30 Ants will. Yeah, there you go. Now wait, last year he said he really wanted to work with Jack. What? He has never done comedy on stage before. Hold up. He's funnier than he is. Yes! And also, unlike Hannah Burner, everybody knows Jack, right? I mean, tall NBA player who did a little rapping and who did a bunch of commercials. Come on now! Yeah. Happy Elephant, let's do another top eight list, huh? Does everybody know what time it is? Is it time for something that involves a weeknight update? That's correct. It's time for our top eight. Yeah, top eight to know what the top eight things are. Yeah, it's going to be great. Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder what the top eight is going to be this time. Well, we're going to have to figure it out. Well, Ellie's going to figure it out. Yeah, Tom, it's absolutely so. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Take it away, Ellie! Yeehaw! You got it, boss. Tonight's category, top eight things that Hannah Burner will never get. Number eight, a mansion. Number seven, a ring. Number six, a stick. Number five, glue. Number four, a rock. Number three, a car. Number two, a limo. And number one, money. You know, it could have easily replaced the Hannah Burner with Susan Kane. Yeah, exactly. Or Mae Smith. Well, here's the 
here's the thing though, okay? Although May Smith can be a little naughty at times, at least she is trying her best. Yeah, you're right about that. You're absolutely right about that. <laughs> Boys, thank you. Thank you very much. You know the draw hashtag we can up there, hashtag go real for the hashtag go real for don't some hashtag spread love around. Get those things to turn on social media, please! And do I write like the team, subscribe and bell share, we can chat up the comment section down below. But whatever you do, please do not go anywhere. We got Ever God coming up. We have special delivery coming up. We have Mortal Wars Disability Choir around the corner. And we have Pocket Time right around the bend. That's right. So please do not go anywhere. This is the week update, and now here it is, your vibe of the night. Good morning. Good morning, Thomas. <laughs> what a beautiful. What the talking bird? You can't escape us. You know, there's one very big reason why Empire is the only company that promises carpeting in just one day. The big reason is our big warehouse. We don't have to wait for carpet to be shipped. We've got all the top brands right here, so we can deliver in one day. The big warehouse helps keep our prices down, too. Empire can now give you stain-resistant carpeting from $8.95 a yard installed. 588-2300, Empire! Empire today, stain-resistant carpet tomorrow, from $8.95. Groundhog sees his shadow and winter goes on for six more weeks. But if the groundhog does not see his shadow, then winter is out the door. <laughs> yeah, and spring will be in. <laughs> yeah, woo! We got to carry on with tonight's uh, program though. And the first thing we need to do right now is to watch another episode of Special Delivery. <laughs> Yes, my lovely good old accomplices. This will absolutely help the distraction for our bumbling superheroes. The sneaky hermit will be pleased. Let's do. Let me do it to my lair. We can absolutely talk our evil plans for over tea. And excuse me. By the power of Dawn Cheering, what a capital idea! Wait, what's that? It sounds like the Invisible Mobile. Our heroes have arrived. Bar and a burger and fries. 
I mean, unhand that captive, you vile beans! Oh, heroes! I knew you'd save me! You're too late, moron man! This kid is absolutely trapped inside a bunch of stinkiness! Hoo hoo hoo! The treadmill creates status and invites into that old restaurant, Who the Vey? And when she stops running and wham! She'll absolutely become stinky and smelly for a very long time! Hoo hoo hoo! That's diabolical villainosity and very kind of. Icky. Just try to save the mayor's kid, why don't you? It'll actually take a very long time before you know it. Uh, Captain? Oh, uh, sorry. It, uh, caught up in the moment. <laughs> so long, fool timers. Dag nabbit, they're trying to stall us from finding the sneaky hermit. But we really gotta free the mayor's kid. Oh yeah, the kid. You're gonna be just fine and... Oh, sweet mother of bullcraps! What is that smell? It's the vortex of stinkiness, Captain. We need to shut off this machine so that we can free the captive. Did you shut it off yet? Nope. How about now? Nope. Now? Mm, nope. Oh, come on, heroes. Don't give up. You gotta believe in yourself by trying to solve this machine. <sighs> Is it off? Nope. Off now? Nope. We are so mad. We got double crossed. While we were here trying to help the sneaky hermit, the hermit was busy stealing our lairs. Wow, now that really is sneaky. It sounds like he's sneakier than all of us. Uh, what would you fellas say we combine forces and going after this villain together? That's pretty much why we're here. Well, that was easy. I know 110 hunters who can really attract anything. I bet we can use the hunter for its help. Well, there's not much left to say except superheroes and supervillains working together for the evil clutches. Unite! Uh, could you absolutely help me before you go? I need a beauty rest! Oh, uh, sorry. Let me get that for you. Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, I need a drink. That was incredible. That was fantastic. And now, the Multiverse Disability Choir. Demi hen you say that he got a confusion Long live Cookie Bun Cooper and Sean Licks the Hedgehog Come to our lab, no we can do an experiment Long live Cookie Bun Cooper and Sean Licks the Hedgehog We can do anything for our friends And they Charles and Jim are very happy with our adventures Since Scratch murdered Charles and Jim Long live Pookie Bunkooper and Sean Lick the Hedgehog. Now we must protect Fiona since she has PTSD. Long live Pookie Bunkooper and Sean Lick the Hedgehog. Now that my niece has we fight for good. And now Fiona has PTSD no more, yeah. Long live Pookie Bunkooper and Sean Lick the Hedgehog. Long live Pookie Bunkooper and Sean Lick the Hedgehog. Do you call me the Quacking? How's your squawking strong get loose? Do you wait to keep me before me? Well, we found an adventure We sort it out for you We know what to do We are such clever chaps Now we're so lost now Long live 
Call it kooky bunkooka and showing the head chop. Genius is quite fine. And Eugene's top coach now. Call it kooky bunkooka and showing the head chop. Eventus, yeah. what time it is? That's right, it's talking time to know what Ellie is talking about. So, let's talk about it. <laughs> you know what, folks? I have talked about ridiculous stories on this program before. Alright? But this is pretty insane. Listen to this. Alright? It was recently reported that Anna Burner will have her first Netflix comedy special. And he will film it next month in Philadelphia. Really? Really? Anna, let me ask you one question. Does anybody know you? I mean, seriously, does anybody even know your work? No! Alright? You know, she recently said, this is probably the coolest thing that has ever happened. I'm in love with the hour that I've been touring for a while now. And I'm honored that Netflix wants to showcase my silly bits. Uh, here's the problem though, Hannah. The only reason why Netflix has decided to give you a special is due to the fact that you have been bribing all the uh, Netflix executives. Okay? If you haven't bribed, Netflix, and there was no way that you were going to have your own special on Netflix. No way. Just no way. I mean, seriously. You know, and here's another thing. All right, her only uh, claims to fame, you know, were the uh, Just for Laughs uh, Comedy Festival and her podcast, Giggly Squad. I don't know, folks. I mean, it's just not right, okay? I'm sorry. No! No! And here's another thing, all right? Last year, he went on tour. That's right, she went on tour. I think uh, she went uh, all across New York and everything else. And let's just say that things went haywire. During the interview, she said that she really wants to interview Jack. You know, she said she wanted to interview him. And I'm like, Anna, no, okay? There is no way that you will interview Shaq, all right? You wanna know why? Because Shaq does not know you, okay? And if you even try to uh, ask him, you know, if he wants to be interviewed by you, then I'm pretty sure that he would definitely say no. Actually, He'll do one better. He will not only say no, but before you can even ask him that question, he'll hang up on you. Bang! I'm serious. All right? There is just no way that we're happy. All right? Folks, we got to wrap this thing up. Tomorrow night on this program, we're going to talk about Gary Owen. That's right. And we will reveal the winner of this week's Count of the Week Challenge. And we will also have 
Those special surprises from Bob Shocker, Christian Faithies, the Color Being Cool, the Camera Lady, and the Arrival 2004. So please do not miss tomorrow night's program. It's going to be amazing. All right? Well, that's the news. I'm Alski. Screw all right for all.